Hello everyone, I'm Jessica and today I'm going to be here with my TBR for the month of May. This month I've decided to title The May Massacre, mainly because I have a lot of books that have been getting carried over every month for my TBRs. I've got a bunch of carryover books and as I was looking around I realized that I have like five or six books that I've started reading and I've never finished. I've made a decision that all of my carryover books that I've had up to this point sans the 2019 purchases. Everything has to, if it has been started prior to the month of May, has to be finished in the month of May. Or if it was not started in the month of May, has to at least be started in the month of May. And if not, then it's going. It's getting unhauled. Most of these have been on my TBR for some of them three months, some clear up to seven or eight months, and they've just been getting carried over every month. And obviously if I haven't picked them up at this point, then I'm not going to. The first thing that I want to address is that I am doing a readathon this month. I'm doing the bingo-a-thon, and it is being held between the 12th and the 18th of the month of May, and I will have a separate TBR for that explaining what that readathon is and who's hosting it and all of that jazz. So look forward to that coming up soon as well. Because of the nature of this beast, I am not doing any TBR box picks for this month. I've already got like 16 books on my TBR. Adding in TBR box picks is just going to be way too much, way too stressful. So I'm not doing TBR box picks this month because of the stress that is going to be on me this month to finish all of these books or at least start them. So no TBR box picks this month. First, let us get into the books that have already been started that have to either be finished or they're getting unhauled at the end of the month. Because there are so many books and they come from so many different months, I am going to give descriptions this month, whereas I necessarily haven't been with my carryovers in the past, because I can't just attach 20 videos so that you can find out where I've talked about all of these at before. Let's just give some descriptions and make everybody's life easier. The first book we're going to talk about is Riser by Becca C. Smith. This is the first book in the Riser saga. Becca is a fellow author tuber and one of my friends, and I have been working on this book for a couple of months, not because I don't enjoy it, but because it is an ebook and I'm not a super huge fan of reading on my phone or ebook format so it's just taking me a little longer to get into than what I would like but I am enjoying it. I'm about 60% in. This book is about a girl who is given the capability to control things that are dead not necessarily and like a necromancy sense and yet in a necromancy sense like there's no spell work or anything involved in it it's just she has the power to rise things from the dead and control them. Is that accurate English? I'm not really sure at this point in the day. There's a bunch of political drama and it's very interesting. I'm really enjoying it up to this point so I'm excited to get to it this month. Next is One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest by Ken Kessie. I started reading this for ever ago. The bookmark that is in this is an O-Town bookmark which I made in middle school so you can guess how long it's been since I've read this. I didn't make it very far into it. I was only on like page 20. I know that it's about people in an insane asylum. It's literature which is not my favorite. I picked it up because it was recommended to me because I enjoy 1984 and Fahrenheit 451 and The Scarlet Letter which are like the only three literature books that I actually have enjoyed in my life. But yeah, so this was recommended to me that I try it, so I'm going to try it again because it's probably been 10 years since I've picked it up. Next on books that have been started is Bridge to Terabithia by Katherine Patterson. I started reading this for a readathon last year sometime, June, July, August, September. I don't remember when. I read about the first 50 pages and have not finished it. I am going to try to finish this. I may end up DNFing it. I'm not really sure what I'm going to do with it yet because I'm not super enjoying it. We'll see what happens. Also, Bridge to Terabithia is about two kids and a bridge to Terabithia. I've never seen the movie. But most of you have probably heard of it before, so that's fine. Along with another book that doesn't really need a description, I have Dracula by Bram Stoker. Um, again, has a bookmark from when I was in middle school in it. I've had this book for a long time, not quite that long, but I've had it for a long time. I've made it through like the first 50 pages and haven't picked it up again since then. I just, I don't like old style language. It's just not my thing and that may make me a dumb reader, but I am okay with that. And that it is what it is. So I'm going to try to listen to this on audiobook and get through it and we'll see what happens. Throne of Glass, Sarah J. Mass. I was reading this for the fantasy a I believe. I am enjoying it, but I just haven't finished reading it yet, so it is what it is. I'm not going to tell you what this is about either because, I mean, it's about an assassin who doesn't kill people. I don't know. I'm not really sure what it's about. That's really all I know and I'm like 60 pages in. I know I'm enjoying it. Shatter Me by Tahata Mafi. This book 
I started reading on audiobook. I know it's about a girl who is in some sort of like an insane asylum or a prison and that she cannot touch people or have people touch her because if she does they die. That's about all I know because I read the first 20 or 30 pages of this and I was reading it on audio and apparently it's written kind of journal style and there's a lot of things where like she crosses them out in the writing and so you don't really get that in the audiobook other than like the sound of the scratch of the pencil against the paper but you don't know how much she scratched out. I decided to read it physically and I just haven't picked it up again since then. And then we have What If It's Us by Becky Albertalli and Adam Silvera. I started this last month. It's not really like a super high carry. I mean it's been carried over for a long time since like September but I have actually started. I just haven't finished it yet. Like I started it a couple of days ago and it's just not finished yet so it's not a big deal. This book is about two boys, Arthur and Ben, who have a lot of meet cutes and a lot of first dates and their romance and I don't know that there's a plot other than that. And then my baby, Lord of Shadows by Cassandra Clare. This is the second book in the Dark Artifices series. I have, I, I am very far into this. But I haven't finished it yet. Um, this has been on my TBR since December. It is now May. I realize that most of you are thinking it's been on your TBR since December and this is May and it's also been out for two years in May. I chose not to put it on my TBR until Queen of Air Darkness came out because I knew that there was like a character death at the end of this and everybody was really upset about it. So I chose not to read it and to avoid all spoilers until Queen of Air Darkness came out. It's been another six months. I still have avoided all of the spoilers and I haven't heard any spoilers for Queen of Air Darkness yet. So living for that life right now. I'm not going to tell you what this is. This is a book from the Shadowhunter series by Cassie Clare. I mean, they're, you know what they're about by now, don't you? And now we'll get into the books that I haven't started yet and need to at least be started and actually be trying. Not like read 10 pages and go, okay, started it so I don't have to get rid of it. Like, come on, Jessica, get your shit together. Try reading a book or two. The first is one I definitely have to read this month because it comes out on the 14th and I have an arc and I need to review it. And that is The Lost Coast by Amy Rose Capetta. I don't know a lot about this book. I know that it is about a coven of witches and it takes place on the west coast and a new girl moves to town and once she does a boy is found murdered and or just dead and that's pretty much all I know. Next I have Evelyn's Number by Bethany Atizada. I was supposed to be reading this in March for Author Tube Appreciation Month and didn't. So here it is. This book is about a girl who lives in a world where everyone, I believe it's on their 16th birthday, is assigned a number and it tells you where they're going to be placed at in society. And I believe it's the church that gives them their number. And I believe that the main character, Evelyn, does not get the number that she thinks that she deserves. And so the book follows her from there. Don't really know a whole lot more other than that. And the other book that is a carryover from Authors Appreciation Month is I Am Mercy by Mandy Lynn. This book follows a girl, I think it's set in the 1500s. It's set during the Black Death. From what I gather from the blurb, basically this girl is an outcast of her family. And the only way to save her family from the Black Death is like to make them hate her forever. Not really 100% sure, but it sounds really interesting. I love things at that time period, so I'm very interested to get to this one. This one's not necessarily a carryover. It is The Name of the Star by Maureen Johnson. It was my TBR box pull for the month of April, so I, mean, I didn't read it in April, so it is a carryover, but it's not like a death-defying carryover where it's been on my TBR forever. So this one I'm kind of lenient with if I don't start it this month, but I would ideally like to read it this month as well. This is the first book in the Shades of London trilogy. I know that it's fantasy and that it's set in London, and that's about all I know. Then I have The Novice by Tara Matharu. This is Summoner book one. I know the series is set around a guy who learns that he is able to summon demons and is kind of then outcast from his village and sent to a school of sorts where he learns how to harness his powers and I think they want to use him for a war. Something to that effect. Then Six of Crows by Leigh Bardugo. This is a heist novel that sets around a bunch of morally great characters and is a big hype train book and that's about all I know. And the final book on my TBR for the month of May is Queen of Air and Darkness by Cassie Clare. Obviously I haven't started reading this because I haven't finished Lord of Shadows yet and I can't start reading this until I finish Lord of Shadows. I want to say that I want to exclude this book from my rules but honestly I've been holding off on reading these books so long that I'm not even 
I'm not even putting them outside of my rules. Like, I legitimately have to give it the old team try and at least start this book. I'm not going to hold all of those books again because they don't all fit in the frame, but that is my TBR for the month of May. Again, I'm calling this the May Massacre because I'm going to kill some books get some reading done, beef up my stats, beef up my cool bookshelf page in my planner. It's my bookshelves in my planner. So essentially I have been, like the shelves don't mean anything themselves, but whenever I finish a book I write the title in to the book and I my highlight colors are for the month so that I can keep track of like what months I'm reading everything. I'm planning on doing an updated planner for writing and reading video in July. Look forward to that in my new happy planner. Isn't it so pretty? I just changed it over today. <sighs> so happy. That has absolutely nothing to do with this video but it makes me happy so I'm rolling with it. That is my TBR for the month of May. Let me know in the comments below if you have read any of these books or if you are notorious like I am for having ridiculous amounts of carryover at the end of every month and if you would consider doing this type of, of TBR for a month to get rid of some of your carryover. That is all I have for today. I post reading, writing, and book related videos on Mondays and Wednesdays and bonus videos on the weekends. So until then, I will see you guys next time. Bye!